This is from Sayy Bukhari and Sayy Muslim. And Imam Muttafaq Aleh and Imam Bukhari has quoted this hadith five times in his Sayy Bukhari. And same way, five times or more times, Imam Muslim has quoted in Sayy Muslim, Muttafaq Aleh hadith. And the narrator is Anas ibn Malik Ansari radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And the words of hadith are, Inna Aba Bakrin, Kana yusalli lahum, Fi waja in Nabiji lazi, Tubufiya fi, Hatta iza kana yomul isnain, Muhum sufufun fi salat. Fakashafan Nabiyo sallallahu sallam asitr al hujra. Yanzuru yena wahua ka imun. Wahua ka imun. Wakan na wajahu varaka to mashafin. Summa tabassama yadhaku. Fahamamna an naftatina minal farhe bero yatin nabiyya sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Fanaka sa abu bakir in ala akibayil yasila saffa. Wazanna anna nabiyya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam akharjun ila salat. فَأَشَارَ إِلَيْنَا النَّبِيُّ صلى الله عليه وسلم أَنَّ تِمُّ صَلَاتَكُمْ وَأَرْخَ السِّتْرِ This is متفق علیہ حدیث سیدنا ابو بکر صدیق مالک انس بن مالک reports that he was used to lead the companions in the ritual prayers during the departing ailment of the prophet صلى الله عليه وآلہ وسلم in his last three days he was leading the prayer and holy prophet صلى الله عليہ وسلم was in his last ailment on his bed meanwhile holy prophet ﷺ felt better so Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq was leading the prayer and the companions was aligned in rows and they were in their prayer they were hum sufufun fis salat wa ma qala hum sufufun lis salat bal qala hum sufufun fis salat they were in prayer they were praying they were not stating the rows for prayer. No, fis salat means they were already in their prayer. These are the words of hadith. Please keep in your mind the text of hadith. Um sufufan fis salat. They were in state of prayer. It was Monday, and they were offering the ritual prayer. When beloved Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam raised the curtain of his door, raised the curtain of his sacred chamber. And he was standing there and blessed us with this compassionate gaze which we were missing so restlessly and waiting for so impatiently. For the last three days, they couldn't see Holy Prophet's face. They were restless. They were waiting for that gaze. For that gaze. All of a sudden, Holy Prophet raised the curtain of his chamber, Holy Chamber. And companions say, Kanna wajau varaka to musafin summa tabassama wa yadhago fahamamna an naftatena mina salati biruyatin nabi. So companions were standing in their rows like this. Sina Abu Bakr Siddiq was leading the prayer. And you know just if you imagine Holy Prophet's chamber. His house was on the extreme left of the companions. Riyadul Jannah. The Jali Mubarak is on extreme left. And they were standing like this. Just now you tell me. If the people are praying towards facing Kaaba, do they see right or left or just they concentrate on their place of their prostration, Sajdaga? They always concentrate on their place of prostration, prostration, on the Sajda place. And were Sahaba accustomed to, to see right and left during their prayer? No, nobody is accustomed. You can't do when they were just concentrating on their prostration place in during the prayer holy prophet was standing extreme left raising the curtain of his chamber of holy chamber how sahaba were able to see his smiling face this is hadith muttafaq alay hadith how anas ibn malik says how were sahaba able to see his smiling face and glittering face an illuminating face. How could they see his face? Because they were standing like this, facing towards the prostration place. He was standing in his door. He did not come out of his chamber. On door raising the... How could they see his face? And how they say we saw him, he was smiling. And his face looked as if the Quran was open in front of them. And his face was so illumina illumining. How could they see? How were they could see this compassionate gaze? How was this possible? 
it is absolutely not possible unless somebody praying turns his face towards left when they heard raising of the curtain they heard this noise they knew hazrat aisha siddiqa or the azwaj the wife holy wives cannot raise the curtain you understand they knew hazrat aisha siddiqa cannot raise the curtain and she cannot come on the door to stand to see us if the curtain is raised and somebody has appeared on the door it means this is just holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when they knew that holy prophet is standing on the door they forget the direction of kaaba and all of these companions turned their faces towards the face of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam now kaaba was on this side and face of holy prophet kaaba of kaaba was on that side on this side was the qibla and on extreme left was the qiblatul qibla they turned their faces towards holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the words are fahamam na an naftatina min al farh bi ruyat an nabiy sallallahu alaihi wasallam and when we glanced we had nearly ended our prayer and we had intended decided to end our prayer to break our prayer just to see the beautiful face of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam this is the companions are saying we intended to break the prayer to end our prayer to see holy prophet's face sallallahu alaihi wasallam so this was the position of the companions but what happened to the imam we had nearly ended our prayer due to the extreme joy of having blissful and heartening glimpse and beholding of the pleased and gleaming holy countenance of our beloved prophet now what happened to imam sayyidina abu bakr siddiq رضي الله تعالى عنه he initiated he thought as if holy prophet has come out from his holy chamber he is joining us in prayer so he initiated to drag himself on his soles to join the row behind the leader he left the musalla the prayer the place of imam and he dragged himself behind to the first row and he left the place for holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam you see this is the prayer the companions just to see have a beautiful view of the face of holy prophet they have turned their faces towards left imam has left his musalla place to join the first row thinking as if holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has himself come out when holy prophet saw whole of this scene but our beloved prophet gave us the gesture and he said atimmu salatakum just complete your prayers arkha sitr and he pulled down the curtain and went back and he never said repeat the prayers because the imam has left his place he is joining the first row the all sahaba they have turned their face they are busy in watching my face so now what is left in prayer so he would have said salat dobara namaz ko phir se padho toot gayi kyunki tumhare chehre काबे से हट गए इमाम ने मुसल्ला छोड़ दिया रुख बदल गए इफ यू वाइल प्रेइंग टर्न योर फेस टू अर राइट और लेफ्ट योर प्रेयर इज ब्रोकन बट होली प्रॉफिट डिड नॉट से रिपीट योर प्रेयर ही सेट अतिम सला तकुम जस्ट कंप्लीट योर प्रेयर यू आर स्टिल इन प्रेयर यू आर स्टिल इन प्रेयर इन स्पाइट ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट इमाम हैज लेफ्ट हिज प्लेस and you have turned towards left you have changed your direction of faces but still you are dealing with prophet muhammad the messenger it is known to be dealing with almighty allah it is known to be dealing with almighty allah as you did your bayah on the hands of holy prophet bayah to ridwan and allah declared in the ladina yubayuna ka inna ma yubayuna allah you are doing your bayah on the hands of holy prophet this is not bayah on his hand this is bayah on allah's hand in the same way in spite of the fact if you turn your face for anybody else your prayer would be broken but now you have turned your face towards the face of muhammad peace be upon him and his face is much better than the face of kaaba his face is higher than kaaba still you are dealing with almighty allah's remembrance because allah has made his remembrance his own remembrance and he has joined both remembrances together